Hello, I'm Joanna Grace. I run the Sensory Projects and I am going to talk to you very quickly about why you might want to create sensory accessibility to spaces, places, events um, for differently abled people. We have all heard about physical access and we think about ramps and disabled toilets and changing places toilets, but what about sensory access? People who have neurodivergent conditions often have different sensory processing and lots of other people have different sensory processing. In fact, we all have different sensory processing, it's just some people's differences are more pronounced. And people who have sensory differences can face barriers to access through the sensory experience involved in coming into a place or experiencing a new experience. So. For all of us, our senses tell us when we are in danger and when we are safe. And for some people, their senses will signal danger when there isn't a danger present. And for other people, the effort required to take on board new sensations, sensations that are unfamiliar, can cause a lot of stress and anxiety. And so for these groups of people, coming to a new space where it's going to be sensorily different can be a big deal. And for people who have sensory differences, engaging in a new activity or um, taking in information in a new space can be very tricky. So there's lots and lots of ways to create sensory accessibility. And sensory access stories are just one of those ways. I'm only talking to you very quickly in this film. If you want to know more of those ways, I have an online training course called Creating Sensory Accessibility. But a sensory access story is a fantastic way of letting people know what sensory experiences they're going to encounter at your event or in your location and giving them to them in a way that they can prepare for them ahead of time and this can help reduce anxiety this can create familiarity this can be it's like putting a ramp in this can create sensory accessibility and if you create sensory accessibility to your events and places and spaces then you can welcome a broader range of people and you can benefit from their insights and their enthusiasm for whatever it is that you do. So I hope it's something that you'll be curious about and look into.